field. And he plays the Quero, take the snap, and he rolls to his left, and he throws it. Got deep. him. He's got him. He's got him. Man. Complete down the left sideline. Touchdown. Varsity Blues. Ethan McKinnon with the punt return touchdown last week and the big touchdown here for the Blues to put them. Welcome into the 2022 OUA football preview with the Varsity Blues. We are joined by Nigel Good, veteran receiver for the Varsity Blues. Nigel, I mean, we're going to start it off the top with a fun one because, I mean, you get to play with not only your younger brother, you uh, play at U of T with your older brother, Grant and Nash. For sure. Uh, that's kind of a unique experience for someone to be able to play. Like, yes, we had the Ford brothers, but they're twins. They go through school at the same rate. Your family, it's like every couple of years, there's a new one coming into U of T. What was that like for you to be able to share the field with your brothers? I mean, re really exciting. I uh, I got a taste of playing with Grant in uh, high school football there when he was in grade 13. Um, and, you know, he was a big part of why I, I came to UFT. You know, uh, it's always been, a, you know, a dream of ours. And then uh, Nash come along. I hadn't played football with him since grade four. So it's been pretty fun having a little bro out there. He definitely uh, motivates me. You know, I like playing DB too. So when I line up against him, I got to make sure I, uh, I make a big play there. Are there call outs that happen? Like, are you pointing at Nash saying like, get out here for this one-on-one -on -one, or how does that work? For sure. For sure. And I mean, we get lined up in Skelly a lot too. So it just happens naturally as long as the, uh, and I mean, as well as the, you know, the call outs for sure. We've, uh, we stay competitive with each other. Well, uh, let's start to look more at the blues football season. That's uh, looming as we are now under a week away from week one and, there's a lot of new faces coming into this U of T offense. I mean, for the last five plus years, it's been Clay Quera, Will Corby, Nolan Lovegrove. Now they're all gone. And you're just left with your daddy, Lehman, you, and this new wave of offense where there's guys that are still there, but there's a lot of new pieces. How do you guys kind of adjust to that? Well, yeah, like you said, we lost a lot of players that you know, did a lot for this program over those years. But, you know, in that time, you know, we had a lot of players that have been you know, learning and, and, you know, observing under those guys that have done so much. So I think we have a lot of, a lot of skill that's kind of been uh, underneath those guys that's going to show this year. Um, a lot of the core guys, offense and defense, you know, are on the doorstep of a really big season. Um, so really excited to get going here. And I mean, part of getting to that big season, part of having that big season is your coaching staff. Have you found the adjustment to uh, coach Joe DeMore's system? You know, he's a, a really smart offensive mind. Um, we've all been really enjoying it, really buying into the system as a team, um, you know, refining technique. And then he's built some great relationships with the staff. So um, I think he's going to do a really good job of making the most uh, of the athletes we have on our team. And uh, a big part of the offense has been the passing game in the last couple of seasons. With Clay gone, how is the quarterback situation looking for the Blues? The quarterback position is is definitely competitive. We have a lot of guys that, can can whip the ball around the field, make the right decisions. Um, you know, the coaches are going to make their decision on that going into Queens and uh, whatever they whatever they decide, we're going to be happy with. We got we got our guy. Uh, another piece, Adam Williams, East West Bowl running back. Everyone knows how big of a freak athlete he is. He gets to run behind a lot of veteran offensive linemen. Talk about the bonus that brings for your offense having all those guys like Mushtaba and Grizzola back for another year. Yeah, that was a great surprise. You know, not only are those guys really, really talented linemen, but they're such a great presence to have in the locker room. They really bring a lot of energy and they bring up a lot of the linemen around them. So we're looking at a really solid uh, front for our offense this year. You guys are coming off your first playoff appearance in 27 years. I mean, what is it going to take to not only get back to that level, but to continue on in the playoffs now, do you think, for the Varsity Blues? Well, like I said, you know, we look really solid as a group. Everyone's been committed to, you know, building off that player performance. That's where our heads have been at since, you know, we lost that tight game to Ottawa in, uh, last fall. Um, we still feel that we have a lot to prove on the field. And it's just about going out there and executing. You know, we feel like we've got the guys, we've got the coaching. So we just got to go out there and, and do it right. And you're a receiver. Obviously, you get to go against a lot of the defensive backs daily. But what do you expect from this defensive core of Tolu Ahmed, Caleb Zigby, Cody Hale, and a bunch of the other guys to bring to the field this year? You know, you uh, you said that there's some big names. Those guys are really talented. Um, but also, they're just really smart football players. You know, they know what they're doing. They communicate great. I think as a defensive unit, we're going to uh, we're gonna definitely cause some trouble for some offenses with those guys. Great. And uh, as you kind of look into Coach Marshall's 
extension into this off season. How has he been able to build some consistency with your team? Yeah, I mean, I think I believe this is Coach Marshall's uh, fifth year with the team now. Um, every year that he's been here, he's gotten closer with with the players, with the other coaches around us, and you know, he's he's gotten a better sense of what we can do here at U of T. Um, and I think that you know he's been been really involved, really committed, just like the rest of us to uh, building upon that player appearance. And uh, you know, we're gonna have a good season ahead of us here. And part of I guess part of the nature of playing university football is kind of that cyclical nature of this sport. I mean, there's a lot of turnover, a lot of roster turnover. But what does it do for you guys as players to have that coaching consistency? I mean, there's nothing you can do about a guy who's done his time at school. He's graduated, gone on, but for you as players to have coaches that are there regularly that you know year in and year out are going to be there. I think that kind of kind of goes to show with what we've seen with U of T over the last few years. You know, with Marshall coming in, this has been the most consistent coaching, you know, that's happened in a little while for U of T, I think. So ever since he's came in here, you know, we've built upon that each year. And this is just another step for us this year. We're, uh, we're looking forward to it. And uh, as you guys look to this year are there any certain games circled on your calendar uh i mean definitely uh definitely western western's a big one we haven't seen them in a while we're uh that's going to be a big game um and then you know what week one queens they won the east last year we want to go and show that we belong you know we uh we're in the east too we want to go and show that we uh we belong to make a playoff run here and uh talking about the east division i mean Last year was an anomaly uh, as it kind of split the OUA. Are you glad to get back to a full schedule? Did you like the division? Which, what were your thoughts on that whole divide? I think the main thing was the shortened season. You know, we, uh, you know, we got to see um, a lot of teams we've been familiar with over the years before that. And so getting back to the big eight-game season gives us a lot of, you know, fresh looks, a lot of, you know, fresh teams that we can show – you know, what we've got against. I think that we're going to benefit from the, the eight game season and uh, have a lot of teams that, you know, don't really, don't really know what UFT has in store. That eight game season is a little bit interesting, especially for the rookies, right? I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of rookies across the league that played six games and that was a full season for them last year. What is the message kind of now going into this year, knowing that there's an extra two games and you're back to this kind of full grind of a real regular OUA season? For sure. You know, like, like we discussed a little bit before, we're in, again, a first, you know, full training camp once again. So the discussion's always durability, durability, taking care of your bodies, taking care of your mind, you know, getting yourself right. So that's, that's really being pressed on us by not only, you know, our vets, our players, but also our coaching staff, our trainers. We've all been focused on really, you know, keeping our team together for this whole season. Yeah. And uh, I know some teams were given the option of OTAs in the summer, were you guys able to get on the field and get throwing together ahead of training camp? Yeah, yeah, we were. We had a, a good group of guys down that stayed for the summer, myself included. Um, a lot of the quarterbacks, a lot of receivers, a lot of skill positions were down, not only doing our throws and stuff together, but lifting together, building that team chemistry, um, becoming a closeness group and, and getting our technique, timing, everything down, everything down close. Yeah. That's all we have for you, Nigel. So thank you so much for joining us, uh, taking time out of your busy schedule. I know it's... Uh, the busy week leading into week one and uh, good luck this week with Queens. Really appreciate it. Thanks guys. No problem. Take care.